there are three elements that make music enjoyable and accessible to most people. These three elements are simplicity, melody, and repetition. Just think about it. You put together a simple structure with a simple and beautiful melody, and you repeat this melody throughout the song with a few variations. Then you have the best recipe for a beautiful song. Now, if there is a song that masters these three elements beautifully, it's got to be the Canon in D by Johann Packable. So the Canon is one of the most popular songs of all time. It's indeed the most requested song at weddings. And I think it's now probably the most well-known piece of Baroque music that has been rearranged for many instruments and in many different styles. I mean, even just the chords sound beautiful and harmonious. Now it's called the Canon in D because it's in the D major key. However, guys, in this video, we're gonna use the capo on the fret number two so that we make it slightly easier to play and we don't have to tune the guitar in drop D. Obviously now all the chords are related to the capo. So when I play this chord, I would call it a C major chord, but this is actually a D major chord. So we are indeed playing the Canon in the D major key. We're only using different chord shapes in the key of C major. Now, one of the things that I like a lot about the Canon is the bass line, which is extremely fertile for variations. It's simple and melodic, and it leaves a lot of space for melodies. Now, I really love this bass line. It's just beautiful and it's so simple to play. Now, countless melodic variations can be played over this bass line to create a different scene. And in the canon, Packbell is a master in creating a different scenario in each variation. So even though every instrument plays over the same music, the song appears to have different sections. Now, each section built up a beautiful crescendo through harmonious layering, one step at a time. Now, once we have the bass line, we can then start adding notes to the bass. Now, we can start with just one note, like this. And then we can add more notes, for example, play the full chords. Yeah. And when we play the canon on the guitar, we can make the chord progression more rhythmic by playing the chords with the simple finger picking pattern. This song sounds already beautiful and we didn't even play the melody yet. Having a bass line that allows you to add almost endless melodic variations, uh, it's probably why the Canon in D is such a beautiful composition. Now, melodically, there are, I think, five uh, melodic variations, five melodies 
that musicians play all the time. Obviously, you know, the song is longer than just these five melodic variations, but in this video, we will just take a look at the top five. The awesome thing about these melodies is that they built up a beautiful crescendo, which is always, by the way, gentle and melodic. The first melody is played with quarter note, meaning we are playing one note per beat. So the most important element here is the overringing. Just let this beautiful melody ring out. Three, four, one, and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now this second melody sounds a little faster and more rhythmic because we are changing the quarter note into the eighth note. So we're now playing two notes per beat. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and. Now the third time we play the melody, we're gonna introduce the 16th note value, which is pretty fast. It's basically a quarter of a beat. So that means we can fit in four notes per beat. It sounds like this. Again, guys, playing the melody with the overringing will definitely make the whole thing a little bit more challenging as we have to hold the bass note while we are playing the melody. Then we also have a slightly a similar variation, uh, so the same kind of rhythm, but it's a little bit more challenging now because we have to jump uh, you know, in different positions of the neck. Now after this variation, which is obviously the crescendo, the climax, we can then slowly go back playing some melodic chords, like this. We can then move towards the outro, which is the end of the song and there is quite popular melody here played like this The Canon is indeed a beautiful composition that everyone should at some point try the chords are simple and beautiful, and most of the variations are actually doable. Obviously, things get a little bit more challenging as we get closer to the climax, but don't we need to get challenged? Also, there is something spiritual about this song. Maybe that's the reason why we hear it so much at weddings. Maybe the reason why we hear the canon in the at weddings so much is that it kind of represents how steady love and meaningful relationships are. Each variation of the canon adds more note, rhythm, melody, and passion to the main theme. Like the canon, love is built by adding layers and layers of trust, friendship, intimacy, and commitment. These are all slightly different elements that make love stronger, just like the slightly different rhythmic and melodic elements that we use in each variation of the canon. And what do we do when we feel strongly about our relationship? Well, we get married. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Just let me know in the comments down below which uh, one is your favorite song of all time. Also guys, leave a like and share this video. It will be really, really helpful for this channel. And grab the tab if you need it. It's available on my Patreon page. Now I'm gonna leave you to practice this. Thank you for watching and see you next time.